vlog this, but what? my tooth really fucking hurts, and I'm supposed to be working today, but we need to go to the emergency dentist right now. It fucking hurts. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Today has been a day. <laughs> so, last night, at some point, I had some pain in my mouth. I decided not to hang out with my friend Jeremy. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I talked to you guys at all last night because of this. I had some tooth pain, or some pain in my mouth, whatever you want to say, and I took a bunch of ibuprofen, and it went away. I was okay. It was manageable. Went to sleep, woke up, and holy hell, it was horrible, so horrible. So, uh, kind of freaked out this morning because I work on Saturdays and Sundays from home. I'm the primary, like, on-call tech support person for my com the company I work for. And uh, in the four years that I've worked there, or the two years that I've done the Saturday and Sunday thing, I've never had to call out, so to speak. I've never had to have somebody fill in for me of those days uh, when I was scheduled to work. Like, of course, I've gone on vacation and stuff, but so that was definitely stressful. I had to let my boss and my coworkers know, hey, I, I can't like talk right now. So me and Meg went to go to this emergency dentist like 30 minutes away was like a place that Meg knew about and it's Saturday on Memorial Day weekend. So we the options were very slim. So we get to this place and it says dental, medical, like, it's not an urgent care place, but it's similar to that type of thing if you know what urgent care is. And we walk in and I say, I think I have an infection in my tooth and, or, you know, whatever. And she's like, oh, we don't have a dentist. We've never been assigned a dentist. It says dental, but we don't have a dentist. What? Like, really? Really? That's, that's... That's what you're gonna tell me right now. So Meg, she didn't tell me till later, but she almost flipped out on this girl. And I like, when I get stressed and stuff, I'm always try. I always try and be nice. And when I get stressed, I kind of just try and take the logical standpoint. And I, I said something along the lines of like, then you shouldn't have the sign or something like that. So we peaced out, we left. And then in the parking lot, I was frantically, I was flipping out in the parking lot and I was trying to, find a solution. Now, during this whole ordeal, I was talking to my sister. My sister is a dental hygienist. Um, her name's Danielle, by the way. I don't know if you guys have seen her in the vlogs. I'm not sure, but Danielle, the dental hygienist. And she was just, you know, basically giving me advice and telling me, you know, this is why you should see a doctor all the time. And especially true if I'm diabetic, you should definitely take care of your gums because if your gums get messed up, when you're diabetic, it's it's more serious, it can affect your brain. And that's just everybody, but especially when you're a type one diabetic, it's more important, so. So anyway, we um, did it. We couldn't go to the urgent care type place, so we drove somewhere 10 minutes away. I, I found him on Google, I called him, and I didn't even know what it looked like. Meg took me over there, and oh, and thank God Meg drove me during this whole ordeal, because I was in some serious pain. And, and it was like kind of in the ghetto, but it was like nice. I mean, it wasn't like state of the art or anything like that, but the dentist was super nice. Front desk person was super nice. Got x-rays. Uh, it was 80 bucks, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And he told me the tooth's gotta go. I have a big giant cavity in my tooth and it's it's gotta go and it's not gonna be a big deal. It's my back right, right one. Now me and Meg were talking. I'm not sure if this is a tooth that my orthodontist tried to upright like way back in the day. And if it is, I might have to talk to him about that. But regardless, but I'm at Walgreens right now and I literally just picked up all of my antibiotics. So, and I'm not in super amount of pain right now, which is weird, but I'm sure it's gonna come back. So this is gonna take care of it. And then I'm gonna have to get this tooth pulled ASAP. Get it out, go. I don't want you anymore, dude, I'm sorry. So yeah, now I'm waiting for Meg. She's getting her hair done down the street. She already had an appointment. She thought she was gonna miss it because of my whole tooth emergency. But um, so I'm starting to answer the phone for work now. I got this. Meg's getting her hair done. Yeah, just a weird Saturday today. I can't even describe the pain I was in earlier, guys. It was horrible. Oh, and look, I cleaned Meg's car a little bit. Look, she has Tweety Bird mats and they're disgusting. And then she has like normal ones, which are underneath of it. I don't know. It was her mom's car. It's like a hand-me-down thing because Meg's car died. Rest in peace, swag wag. She had a million Dunkin' Donut bags everywhere and I just cleaned it because I, I couldn't. You guys know me. 
I couldn't take it. Somebody got her hair cut. It's so short. You like it though. My hair grows like a weed though. Let me see your ponytail. The lady was like, oh my god, you got bio lash? I was like, no, what? She's, Karen's like, no, that's just how her hair grew back. And she was like, I thought you colored it. I, you, they're like, I, my hair never grows back that nice. What'd you say? Show the ponytail. Uh, let me see the length. My little tiny ponytail. That little pwn. Little pwn. Meg likes her hair at mermaid length. <laughs> And this is very different for her. Oh, hey guys. So I'm at the mall right now with Meg. It would take us too long to get home from where we're at because we have to go drop Meg off back for work. And there's a bunch of work emergencies happening right now with my job. So I have to go in the mall and use the Starbucks internet, hopefully if it works, and fix some stuff. Today is a little insane. A little bit. Just a little bit. What's up, dude? Given Panera Bread some shit before about their food and just the priciness and stuff, but I was in a work bind. The internet was not working at the mall as planned, and it's working at Panera Bread for me to use to get to work internet. So, all right, Panera Bread. Thanks. Somebody's the king of the castle right now, huh? See you later, Harv. See you later, Sammy. I'm out. Goodbye, work. Headed over to my friend Jeremy's house for a little barbecue. Dude, the chunks are so good.